Yeah, all right. Good. All right. She can prophesy. Uh, thank God for me and my wife. We ain't no hater. We, we know how God uses it. We, we, let her, we let the Lord use it, don't we? She prophesied to us, and she has been accurate many times. So I know she can be accurate with y'all. <laughs> so she's accurate, too. And we bless God for it. Let's turn to uh, 1 Sam 16, 14. But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. Talking about 2012 as the year changed. Just the Spirit of God departed from Saul. And what? And an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And the evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. See, when the Spirit of God depart from you, God has sent an evil spirit to trouble you. And you can lose the spirit of God. Amen. It ain't guaranteed just because he gave it to you. It ain't guaranteed that you will always have it. Amen. You can lose the spirit of God when you begin to walk in rebellion. Yes. Disobedience. Yes. You can lose the spirit of God walking in rebellion. Yes. Yes. And any time God's spirit leave you, you're going to be troubled. Verse 16. 16. Yeah, did we read that yet? No. Read 16, 16. Let our Lord now command thy servants, which are before thee, to seek out a man who was a, cun a cunning player on an harp. And it shall come to pass, when the evil spirit from God is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. Let our, no let our Lord now command thy servants, which are before thee to seek out a cunning you know, you know man you do a lot of cooking okay cause I see you you know uh, I just see I see the Lord giving you like a secret recipe yeah. A secret recipe that's going to open up a financial door. Now, do you do catering? You don't do catering? Okay, you do a lot of cooking, though. Okay. Because I see you, you know, I just saw you doing a lot of cooking and, and things. Do you cook in the church? No. Let our Lord now command thy servants which are before thee to seek out a man who is cunning, clear of a harp, and it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from God is upon him, upon thee, that he shall play with his hands, and thou shalt be well. Thou shalt be well. See, God was sending Saul some help. In his life, Saul was rebellious, he was disobedient, and that's how the sickness fell upon him. God was sending him. See, disobedience and sin and rebellion will bring sickness upon you. But God is so good and merciful and compassionate that he'll heal you and deliver you. He'll heal you and deliver you because he knows you got to work to do. See, an evil spirit from God came upon Saul from God because uh, uh, Saul was disobedient. He was disobedient in, in God, with God. And disobedience will bring curses up over your life. And let me tell you something. Anytime God brings a curse up over your life, can't no prophet or no bishop or apostle break it off. Can't no apostle, bishop, break that curse off your life when the Lord brings a curse up over your life. 
You got to wait up on God to deliver you from that thing. Now, when God curses you, no one can bless you. Let's look at 23. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took an harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. See, Saul was sick, and God sent someone in his life to bring, to bring him. He was sick. God sent somebody in his life to bring healing. Because see, Saul, even though he was disobedient, but he still had work to do. And God will heal you and deliver you. Even though you're disobedient and you're rebellion, he'll heal you and deliver you just because you got work to do. Just because you got a work to do. Let's look at 18.7. First Sam 18.7. Just because you got a work to do. Just because your work ain't finished yet. And the women answered one another as they played. The women answered one another. As they played. And said, Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands. Saul has slain thousands. David has slain ten thousands. So what that's saying, David had a greater anointing. Because he slayed how many? Ten thousands. And Saul slayed thousands. So ten thousands is greater than thousands. So he had a greater anointing than Saul. And see, one thing about life, you know, you can't easily get offended and easily get jealous because you go always run into people that has a greater anointing than you. Amen. You will have to learn how to accept what God has given you. Am I talking, preacher? You're going to have to learn how to deal with the weapons and the tools and the anointing that God has given you. Because if you don't know how to utilize the, 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 the tools, the anointing, and the skill, what God has given you, see what's going to happen is, God can't put no more in you. Amen. God can only bless you from the gratefulness of what he put in you and what you use it. You got to be grateful for the gifts he's given you. Don't worry about nobody else's gifts. Don't worry about nobody else's gifts. Don't worry about nobody else's anointing. Thank God what he has given you. And you utilize that to the best of your ability. Utilize that to the best of your ability. Because in this life, in this world, you got some folks always going to be greater than you. That's just the way the kingdom of God goes. The kingdom of God got some incredible people in there. I mean, I've seen prophets that can that done came through here that can prophesy. You ain't they ain't never seen you before in their life. They can prophesy how much money you got in your purse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, yes. Ain't we baby? Oh yes, yeah. Oh, prophet Steve. <laughs> and tell you what it is, you got about forty dollars in small bills. <laughs> <laughs> Can tell you what you, how much money you got in your purse. I've seen it come through here because this is a prophet's church right here. We can bring prophets through here, and I can give you uh, the sheep. We have about fifteen prophets out here from September to December. Yes, sir. And I mean, they they good God Almighty, they act it up. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> Did they die? They they act it, they act it up. <laughs> yeah, you bring them out. Finish reading that. And the women answered one another as they played and said, Saul And the women answered one another. And said, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands. Saul slayed thousands, David slayed ten thousands. Is that it? Yeah. Huh? 